friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 13th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you our space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms, we still have those four bright sunspot regions, earth-facing position, two of them, and two of them are now incoming. We also have large plasma rope stretching across the northern hemisphere right now, watching to see if that stays intact. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, two sunspot regions, and as well another bright one just starting to crest over. Looking at outgoing imagery right now. Noted yesterday those plasma filaments on the left-hand side there. And the ISPA space prediction spiral is showing that event now. Pretty large CME, but not in an Earth-facing fashion. Looking at multi-spectrum here at all of the last 48 hours of events on our very active sun, as posted yesterday, solar cycle 25. We've got a, quite a few sunspots Earth-facing right now and more incoming. Looking at 193 angstroms, there are no major coronal holes. This is as deep as it gets right there in the equatorial region. We also have a sun diving comet that was noticed here on Alaska 2 imagery. You can see that in the bottom right hand side. That is a comet pretty much crashing into the sun. And the latest imagery even shows a minor explosion in the sun shortly thereafter as well. Look at Mercury there incoming, getting ready to do another lap around the sun as it just finished a retrograde with Venus. Another close look here at this sun diving comet. You don't see them often and it's hard to catch them because they only stay in frame for about three hours in real time. See that minor explosion at the end there? Boom. Real-time solar flux sitting in C-class range today. A couple minor C-class flares. Geomagnetic activity is low. Geospace magnetosphere, look at this. We were being hammered earlier today, 550 kilometers per second. And then all of a sudden it just dropped off. Just recently we were sitting at about 230 kilometers per second. And that is very low so maybe we are expecting another WAP of space weather. Showing the graph here, 262 kilometers per second after being up over 550 throughout the day today. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing a small CME taking off towards Parker Solar Probe and Earth getting ready to get into the coronal hole wind stream and as well CMEs and solar flares all incoming. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 10, up one notch since our last update. Nothing major to report here. Power of eight, amplitude of 10, a quality of 6.0. Let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. <clears throat> Actually, we're gonna go th and throw in the last 48 hours as I didn't do an earthquake update yesterday, we had quite a sizable earthquake strike Easter Island. You can always get this information on my live streams when they're up to 6.8 earthquake Easter Island. And that was followed by quite a few aftershocks in the region, 5.5, 4.8, ranging up into 5.6. As well, West Chile rise with a 4.9. This was all yesterday, folks. Peru, La Capilla, as well, a 5.5 ringing off yesterday. 5.0 just recently in Valparaiso, Chile. 4.9 there, Scotia Plate. This was yesterday. And as well yesterday, Cocos Plate. All this activity, and we were expecting it. Minor activity continuing and increasing through Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, La Riviera, Mexico, 4.5, and as well, San Juanito. 4.6, Eureka, Nevada, San Clements, 
California, 3.6 and a 3.3 there today. Gilroy. So the activity did increase over the past 48 hours, as well a 5.2 here. Pretty rare area for an earthquake. Davis Strait, north of Quebec, south of Greenland. Overlooking Tonga region, 5.8. Sorry, a 5.0 today, just recently, but yesterday was a 5.8. And our deepest earthquake the last 24 hours here, Papua New Guinea, with just over 460 kilometer depth. And you can see earthquakes are popping all over the place. We just recently had one here, Bay of Bengal, 4.9, as well a 4.6 here in Somalia again. That's the second one this week. So heads up, stay safe, have a plan. This is just an earthquake update, everybody. Some pretty big and also rare earthquakes to report today. Please share this with your friends and family. Closer look here at the last seven days across the globe. 6.8 Easter Island. That's the largest earthquake we've seen in quite some time. Increase activity here through the African plate recently. And as well... Lots of activity, Philippines Plate, West Ring of Fire, and Southeast Ring of Fire. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated, and as well, the most recent satellite imagery across the world. Starting out here with Karamiski in Russia. As well, Senge in Ecuador. Seven Kaya in Peru, of course, all those earthquakes, Peru. Reventador in Ecuador, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. Swiss in Ajima, Japan. Shevelich, Russia. Ebuko in Russia. Simaru, Indonesia. And as well, Dekono in Indonesia. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today. Quick look here around the world at satellite imagery. No major tropical storms developing in the Atlantic. We still only have one tropical storm in the Pacific. Hurricane Darby still alive as a Category 3 hurricane. And as well, the monsoon rains continue across the Southeast Pacific and Indonesia, Malaysia. Across the rest of the world, no major weather conditions except for some rain that's moving into parts of Eastern Africa. It's the temperatures here that I wanted to share with you as well. Some pretty rare temperatures here. 29 degrees being forecasted in some parts of Yukon and Whitehorse. Wow, that is really warm all the way up towards the North Pole. Or is that where the North Pole is? We don't know, do we? Or do we? I'm not one to speculate, but we're seeing some really strange events across the world right now, especially around our poles and our magnetosphere. So heads up, everybody. This is just a forecast showing you temperatures over the next little bit. Extreme heat moving straight up the Rocky Mountains. That's right, 29 degrees in parts of northern Alberta towards the long range. 42, deathly, 46 in parts of of south and central California, Arizona. Quick look here at the weather maps over the next little bit. As I said, no major tropical storms are forming and not much instability across North America. It's going to be pretty widespread over the next few days. Much love and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button and maybe share with a friend and family. Much love, and I appreciate all of the loyalty, viewership, and support to this channel. Long range, we could see a lot of rain. Again, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.
enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.